call it Tumma Summer. Go foot the 20 of them sharp and ask me if I'm related to the Eagle family. I'm not taking it personal though. I'm not taking it personal. But yes. No regular girl. No regular. My girl, no regular girl. No regular. She's no regular girl. She no regular. My girl, no regular girl. Hi guys and welcome. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yes, welcome back to another video. This video is a is a type of video that may be helpful to someone in this whole pandemic. Okay, we're going to be basically talking about um, how is it that I survive through the month in terms of budgeting, allocating expenses relative to my income and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing what all of this is about, then continue watching. First and foremost, what is budgeting or how is it that we define budgeting? Not so much of that dictionary version, we may not understand it, but in real life scenarios. So for me, budgeting is basically allocating your income or incomes to pay your expenses um, every week, every day, every two weeks, every month, every year, so forth and so on. So if you have a job, the money that you get is your income. And some people may have other businesses, when you're an entrepreneur, you have other incomes, or you do other things to get to you other income. So all of that money is your money that you earn. Expenses now. Every month, every two weeks every year we have said expenses expenses can be your rent or mortgage depending on if you own the house um your utilities like water internet cable your phone bill and then we have groceries transportation um your hearing meals whatever category you want to put those in um stuff like that so you get the gist of what we're doing right yeah so when you get, okay, so let's talk about me. So if I say you, replace you with me, right? So I get pay every month, right? I only have one income stream because I have a nine to five, right? And every month I would have the same amount of expenses or you can say I have the same amount of constant expenses. So the first thing I do when I get my salary is I pay my rent, right? So the first, first thing, the first transfer will come out of my account is my rent. Where I live, I have to pay to wash, right? I'm the line out the door, but the laundry has to be done because I wear a uniform. So I have to do my laundry every week, so I buy tokens. So I would transfer my rent and my tokens for the month. I buy tokens to last me for the month, right? Next, I would pay my... I would pay my internet bill, I will pay my phone bill because I'm a post bill. Um, what else do I pay? What other utilities do I have? Yeah, just those two, internet and phone. Those are my two utilities. Cool? After that, I would transfer any other expenses, um, insurance or stuff like that. Yeah, that would be transferred because you have to secure your liquor self, yeah. Even though times are tough, you just have to make things a priority. So those are my expenses. Then we go down to grocery. Um, I go to the supermarket once every month. Make it pay once a month. So supermarket go once a month. I just buy enough things to last me for the month, okay? So a few supermarket tips that I follow. So like with this whole pandemic, you, know, you have, there are a lot of deals coming about the place. So you have, um, I think they're called Box JA, where different, different, it's like, how you describe it now? So they would go to a venue, for example, Hope Gardens or Stadium, and they would have deals from different, different suppliers, right? So you'd have juice deal for $1,000, regular jamming deal for two five, depending on what the items are. Um, best dressed chicken and stuff like that. So that company, I think they're called Box J. I'll insert their handle somewhere along the screen, somewhere or in the description box. 
you can get deals from them it's not an every week thing but they normal they do have deals and they have a lot of deals so that's one type of deal and it ranges from meat grocery baby teas household items produce everything you want you can think about that company will have some form of deal for you for that next next place cpj have deals every week whether it is in montego bay or in kingston there is always a deal from cpj rainforest have deals the rainforest have a deal every week montego bay and kingston so they will have deals in terms of costing for the deals and the products that come in the deals so the deals i have bought i bought protein deal where i get a box of meat for like two five so i get tilapia i get shrimp i got mutton i pay a thousand dollars extra and i got oxtail right and i got fish in there as well um there were times when i bought um when it was easter i got an easter deal um from what's that called from cpj i got a pasta deal from cpj it was for two five um i did easter weekend whenever i'm the bun and cheese really want bun and cheese so i got a deal from them it was a really big bun big block of cheese and i got um almond milk with it as well there was another deal i think i got a pasta deal what's the pasta deal? it was a deal there was shrimp in there there was wine in there there was butter in there there was corn in there the big bag of corn with 16 in there the same corn went by kfc for 150 each yeah I got 16 of those, I got two bags of pasta, butter, shrimp, and it's a large shrimp. So honestly, the deals are worth it. So look out for the deals. It can help you save a buck, right? Also for me, I don't buy chicken in the supermarket, right? I know somebody who sells chicken, so I just buy chicken from that person. I'll insert that handle somewhere along the screen. For produce, I know somebody who sells produce who have a farm, so I buy my produce from that person, right? But if it's so be that you want to buy your produce in the supermarket, what I recently discovered, I probably did discover it, but I never remember, but yeah, recently discovered that when you go into the supermarket and you buy produce locally sourced, which means that the supermarket people them buy the goods them from a Jamaican supplier, yeah, locally sourced produce, when you buy it, it is tax free. So if you buy kale that was made in Jamaica and sourced in Jamaica, there is no tax on it. The amount per kilogram or per pound is relatively high than if you did buy it from Miss Mason on the town or Mr. Buck from the farm around the corner. You get me? So buy your, pro your produce from a vendor man, cheaper, buy your meats from meat shop listen if you find a little meat shop by your little ends and you buy all your meats from that little you save a buck and a half trust me find a little meat shop and buy your meat then if you like fish try to find a little friend or have a farm or a fisherman father or if you can't do that then you try and get your fish if you are going to buy fish from the supermarket, you realize that the bag does say rainforest most of the time. Just find a rainforest outlet and buy the fish from rainforest yourself as opposed to buy it in the supermarket because they have a markup that's how they make their profit. So if it's not too much of a hassle, find the supplier directly to buy your seafood. Also, CPJ have some seafood. I don't remember what they're called. I know they're in Mega Mart and I know CPJ has them directly because when you buy the when you buy the deal from CPJ and you get like salmon and tilapia and seafood mix, there is a brand of um seafood in there. It's called some P word. I don't remember how it's pronounced. I don't remember what it's called. I'll probably insert a picture during the video so you know what that is. So CPJ has seafood as well. Um, another way you can not buy things in the supermarket is if you buy it from the snacks. If you buy bread, so for example, if you're not like you buy tree bread, if you always a buy bone, you always a buy snacks. It is best if you go to a national outlet and buy it there, it's cheaper. Or you lay away at the truck when you see it on the roadside, stop on the delivery. They will sell you, sell you, sorry. 
if you did not know you can buy things off the truck for national you can buy things off the truck for kiss baby so if you have picnic and them like kiss here you can buy things off of the kiss truck if you see it anywhere park up they will sell you you don't have to buy from the supermarket with the high markup one more thing for me is on Sundays, I ensure that I cook enough food to last me for the week. So yeah, you're probably from my house on a Sunday. I realize that I cook for everybody and them daughter. No, it's for me, myself, and I. For Sunday dinner, Monday lunch, Tuesday lunch, Wednesday lunch, Thursday lunch. Depending, if it probably lasts me up until Friday. <clears throat> but honestly speaking, having the same food for five days, I found that. Friday. Having the same food for six days straight, it can be somewhat not the best thing. So on Fridays, I would buy junk food, right? So I probably get a salad from Popeyes, which is like four hundred and ten dollar, yeah. Or I would get a salad from Wendy's, which is roughly a thousand dollars. Or I'd buy wings from KFC. Fridays, I'll allocate. On my budget that I may buy fast food on Fridays Saturdays I'm always home I don't go anywhere I'll cook if I do have to me can't even last my bad food on a Saturday honestly Saturdays and Sundays is when I eat the worst I will just go through the day by having breakfast and dinner not even realize I'm hungry because I'm busy watching Netflix or YouTube honestly speaking but yeah take your lunch to work imagine you go to work monday to friday or depending monday to saturday and you buy food every day the minimum the food is going to cost is roughly 500 dollars because when you buy if you buy a salad at papaya for 14 you're going to have to buy juice you probably take taxes to go get it or you probably have to pay delivery to get the food so the minimum you spend on food roughly at any given time is probably $500 or $600. So multiply that by the amount of days that you go to work, then multiply that by the amount of days in the week, then multiply the amount of weeks. That's a lot of money. Take your lunch to work. It will, it curve, trust me. It, it, the, every mickle make a muckle, so curve it. Cool? next thing transportation um if you drive you know how much gas you normally buy for the month allocated in your budget cool um if you don't drive and you take taxi you know how much taxi you have to take a day how much you go from point a to point b at any given time the amount of times you go to work multiply it and then multiply it by the days in the week and then the weeks in the month you get the gist um the multiplication budget transportation in the event that you have to go to work on a saturday or a sunday and or or you have to go to work on the weekend put it in another budget and say in the event that i have to go to work on a day that i do not work i may have to or for example rainfall you have to go take an on-time taxi or you have to charge a taxi and that's more money so have a contingency don't pretend like say one morning you probably wake up eight o'clock and out the door white you can't really call your boss and say sir i can't come to work because it's raining your job may not allow you to have that form of flexibility i don't know but at the same time you have to plan for natural disaster and you have to plan for overtime and you have to plan for just about anything so don't just budget that rigid little four thousand dollar sorry guys for the persons in Kingston, yes, our fares is $100 to go anywhere. Um, for persons who live in Kingston, if you live in, for example, Montego Bay, everywhere is not $100. It can cost you roughly $1,000 for transportation for one day by taking public transportation in another parish. So yeah, it's $100 to go anywhere on public transportation in Kingston, but in another parish, um, your fare can cost you up to $300. To go to a point yeah so budget a transportation money all the time savings so a lot of people will say that um, they cannot save because they don't make enough money right with all the tips I've just given you you can save 
I know I don't know what your budget is. I don't know what your expenses are like. And I don't know what your income is like. And I do not know what your buying habits are. But if you follow at least one or two of the tips I just given, you'll be able to save. When you go to the supermarket every month, what you bought last month, you're not going to buy them back this month. Not everything. Right? Because, for example, I use Mrs. Mrs. Dash sees thing. So if I buy the big one, that can last me up to three months, even though I cook all the time. But it's big. I'm gonna go do the whole bottle of seasoning in the meat. But if I buy the small ones, depending on which seasoning it is, it may not last me for more than a month, and I have to replenish it. Only not one on the buy salt. It lasts up to six months, probably a year, depending on if you only pinch it and drizzle it. If you get what I'm saying. But there are some items that when you buy them this month, you don't have to buy them back next month. Next month, And as such, when you go to the supermarket, your bill fluctuates, right? So pretend like January you spent $20,000, right? You budget $20,000. When you go back February, your bill is now $17,000 because you never have to buy something waited up from January and that three thousand dollars that you have saved because it's money that you would normally not have you can put it in a savings account right you can put it in a little savings account nothing is wrong if when you go to the supermarket in March you're spending 20 again and then the next month you probably spend 15 that extra five is money that you would not normally have so you can put it in a savings account you see, the account that you're saving into, do not take out a debit card for it. Don't. Because, listen, I don't know what law of nature this is, but as soon as you put on the money for the something else, something wrong. And you have to go try for the debit card. You have to go to the Lord Jesus. And look up money when I put on for save. I have to go use it. No. Do not take out a debit card. For your savings account, it is your, if you want the money, you have to walk in the bank. And nobody in Jamaica likes to go to the bank, so guess what? The money is going to stay there and grow. If you are disciplined enough, alright, so all the tips I've given you, if you never did have follow them before and you can't follow them now, you will save. So if you're a person now who no normally care lunch for my work and you follow off the other tips I give, and you're now taking lunch to work, you have you have some money now and just lie down because you're saying not buy lunch anymore. That money can go into your savings account. You can also go in partners. So if you're going to partner with your bank or even a partner with a credit union, interest goes on your money. Even if the interest are five hundred dollar, I still money. Five hundred dollar every maple makes a muckle. Right? So, it can work. I know it's difficult. Oh, yeah, I would do nails too. Yeah, I do my nails. Yes, I do my, I get a pedicure. Honestly, from the pandemic started, I haven't been to the nail tech. So, somebody told me some of my foot, the 20 of them sharp, and asked me if I'm related to the Eagle family. I'm not taking it personal, though. I'm not taking it personal. But, yes. I go to the nail tech and I go to Isabella this but I get a pedicure and I get my nails done and that's 5,500 and it's a spa but that is cheap every time I've been to Isabella and I'm, the first time I went it was in December up until this point it is still 5,500 to do my nails so you can still put that in your budget even though it's a way of treating yourself because honestly guys it makes no sense you go to work every single day and you cannot afford to treat yourself put it in the budget put it put it in the budget and stop by stop by things from fashion over because they say oh we have a sale 40 percent off if you don't buy the item today no right and you go to buy the item next two months they probably have the same discount code or more stop make all the marketing that companies do take away all the money that you don't have okay so save your money. Try to follow at least one of the tips that I give and see if it makes a difference. So when you get paid at the end of this month, right? Or if you get paid every two weeks, I don't know if you're getting paid 
this coming Wednesday or the other coming Wednesday, try to gravitate at least one of the tips I just give in terms of buying things from the local um, farmer man or buying meat from the, the meat shop. Or as my aunt would say, if you don't have to buy the meat, don't buy the meat because yes, some meat expensive. Listen, if you want to do it, you have to be disciplined and you have to be willing to make the sacrifice. So every month I try to put money in my savings account. Um, with the whole pandemic, yes, my salary has been cut and at the same time I try to curb my spending. Okay, it pain, it pain my heart, you know, for when me get paid. And five years later, I'm like, wow, did I really get paid a week ago? Because there's no money left. I want to say there's no money. It may not mean I have zero dollar in my account. It means that compared to what I got paid to, nothing I really left. But at the same time, you have to be grateful that, yeah, we're grateful that we have a job. And we're grateful that we're still employed. But at the same time, it's still a salary cut. I know we have to be reshuffling reanalyzing reallocating and everything and the expenses don't stop there is no one good thing for me that i don't have any loans thanks be to god i have no loans i don't have to waive anything and stuff like that so i just know how to curb it to try to buy less if one friday i have to eat what i cooked on sunday i'll do it because guess what i cannot go broke because things happen they probably did sick my have to go doctor stuff like that do happen so you have to ensure that you still have money left in your account after you have certain all your expenses one other thing i do in my saving is i have two big pans i have two big pans like these so this one is filled with only 50 dollars and i have another one that's filled with coin so I'm gonna have coin, I'm gonna have a dollar in my purse or anywhere. They're in the pan. When I cannot, when the pan can't hold no more coin, I'm going to take it to the bank and I'm going to deposit the money into my account. And that's the plan. Or if there's something that I really want to buy, but it's not something that I need now and it can be like a treat to myself, then I'll probably use one of the pans to offshore that expense. You get me? that's it for this video i hope you learned something from the video um i hope it was beneficial to you some way some shape or form if you have any questions guys just ask it in the comments send me a dm on instagram just feel free to ask the problem is this is something in the wrong context i'm putting because of the word mean but i don't know what it mean are you confused ask me i'll i'll answer you and help you um Thank you for the support you guys have given me so far. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. She's no regular girl. She's no regular. My girl and a regular girl.